spiritually speaking, when these two great factors come together, the Divine Father and the Divine Mother, they give birth to life. And so we have the pattern of life that we know within us and all around us. And what's so very clear is that as human beings, we can get wrapped up in life and the pattern of life that we are living and how it's going. And that can take us where it takes us, sometimes to things that we enjoy and appreciate and sometimes things that are horrific. But in the process of all that, apparently what happens for us as human beings is that we can forget the origin of all that. And we are left to try to make the best of the pattern of life in which we find ourselves. And often that pattern has within it dwindling joy, dwindling fulfillment. Thinking about words often spoken as wedding vows, till death do us part. Well, we could argue the relevance of that. But what I'm pointing to is that in a deeply committed relationship, living in judgment of that other person, deciding whether you want, want to be with them or not, and doing that perpe perpetually is not really helpful. A committed relationship is when you're living on the assumption, I'm in. I'm in. And let's see how we can allow this to happen. And no matter what happens, I'm here for it. What, how does it go through sickness and health and well, I don't know what else, poverty? or it's like So whatever happens, I'm here for it. And let's see how we work through it. That's very different than perpetually living in, eh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But of course, that happens not only in marriage relationships, but it happens in, in all of life. It could happen in somebody's job. They show up, and from day one, it's like, I'm not really sure about you, and I'm not really sure if I want to be here. I'm not really sure about this. I'm not sure about that. I'm not really sure if this is the right job for me. And so a person lives an uncommitted life. They're uncommitted in their job, and they're uncommitted in their relationships. And in the end, they end up being uncommitted in their life. I suppose if you get uncommitted enough, you choose to exit your life in some way. There's another way to live one's life. Just like a marriage that in one way or another is going to come to an end sometime, your life is going to come to an end sometime, as far as I know, mine too. At least the life at this physical plane in this incarnation. But I'm still here for it. I'm here for all of it. I'm here to eat it up. I'm here for this life. I'm here for this human being. You ever think that thought for yourself? Do you ever sit yourself down and say, you know what, Dave? Whatever happens, no matter how bad this gets, I'm here for you. I'm in.